bugs. I've um, just got a few mud fossils and apple juice to show you today. And um, a couple of interesting bits of uh, glass like thing that I found that may well be parts of the firmament. So I'll start with this one, this that I found here. Clearly has an outline of what was once an eye here, and some something going on up here. So I think it was a mud fossil of some being or creature. That's what it looks like around here, and so wait a minute. yeah, when this is sitting outside looks like a cat with one eye in the dark but <laughs> I'm quite sure it probably goes around this way and that's the side profile and the front of the head the nose area and the eye and whatever that is and that's where the mouth was of the being and potentially its neck neck bone here that I'm holding And the main things I wanted to run over again in this video, I have shown them before briefly, are these sort of smoky looking pieces of uh, glass-like substance that I found in the mouth of a river underneath some shingle when I was picking out a stone. And they seem to have some carvings on them, like somebody has tried to carve a sun with rays coming off it and it has some bubbling effect here like it has been heated on that side and here we have some sort of rough element of it like rock and it's a very smoky looking glass and you can, that's my finger behind it so you can actually see through it and here is the other bit It's got that rough edge again there, it's around, and then it's got the bubbling sort of bit here. But this reminds me of a little elephant effigy. Here's the trunk area, the eye, the ear, and the sloping back of the creature, and that's the back leg. And there's a delineation mark there for the back part of the body, if it is a mammoth or elephant effigy. Again, made out of this smoky glass. And Somebody has also tried to carve lines along it here, possibly for a sun. And that's what it sounds like when they're not together. So, I know somebody that works with fiberglass, and they say this is not fiberglass in any way at all. And I don't know why I would have found that fiberglass underneath the shingle of a deserted riverbed but it's certainly not fiberglass and this person works with boats repairing boats so it's a very strange substance a bit like the uh, Libyan desert glass but this is a kind of a smoky colour so I thought that was interesting I'd like to show this little whale effigy that I found down in the same place. There's the eye of the whale, the nose area of the whale and the mouth, and the sort of stylized little tail there coming at the back that's been carved in. There's, you can see where they've created a dip for the tail. And they've carved an eye in there. You can see where they've tried to notch it, the lines in the, in the flint. And I have this stone effigy I found in the same area. And there we have a eye and a tongue and an open mouth. There's a the nose. And I think it's a bear. A bear with its tongue lolling out. Show the eye again. 
focus on the eye and the tongue and the nose and uh, this is the other one I found another bear effigy it's the head of a bear the nose of the bear coming back here in the eye but on the other side it's like a dog effigy and again wish the light was better here the, you can see they've carved the tongue in a bit like the red one I showed you with the bear so there's the, the head of the dog and the nose of the dog and the dog's mouth open with the tongue rolling out so you have oops daisy these two both with with tongues that have been carved in by so the blood peoples so yeah just a quick mud fossil video today Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time.